Tired of waiting for that one UI 7 update on your Samsung phone? You're not the only one, but here's some good news. Samsung has officially started rolling it out in more countries. It kicked off earlier this week in South Korea, but now it's moving into Europe and the United States. That means if you've been checking your phone for the update, you might not have to wait much longer. Right now, the update is only available for the Galaxy S24 lineup. That includes the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you want one of these, make sure your phone is fully charged and connected to Wi-Fi because the update could arrive at any moment. Samsung has already confirmed that users of the US are also starting to get it, not just those in South Korea or Europe. But it's not stopping there. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Fold 6 are next in line and could start receiving the update very soon, possibly even today. For those using other Samsung phones that are eligible for One UI 7, the update might take a bit longer to show up. That's completely normal. Samsung usually rolls out updates in stages, starting with the newest flagship models and gradually reaching other devices over the following days or weeks. So even if you haven't seen the update yet, don't worry, it's likely on the way. Now what exactly does One UI 7 bring to your phone? It's more than just a few bug fixes or minor changes. Samsung has made noticeable improvements in both design and functionality. The user interface now looks cleaner, feels faster, and is easier to navigate. You'll also find more ways to personalize your phone so it works the way you want it to. One of the coolest additions is the new Now Bar. It's a smart feature that changes based on what you're doing on your phone. Whether you're watching a video, browsing the web, or chatting with someone, the Now Bar gives you quick access to the features you'll likely need in that moment. It's designed to save you time and keep things simple. Widgets are getting a nice upgrade too. Samsung has introduced more styles, extra features, and better ways to organize them. If you like having things like weather updates, calendars, or health stats right on your home screen, you'll definitely enjoy the new widget experience. Another big part of One UI 7 is artificial intelligence. Samsung has added smart features that actually help with everyday tasks. You'll see better text suggestions when typing, improved photo editing tools, and smart options that learn from how you use your phone. These features are built to make your phone more helpful, not just more advanced. If you're using a Galaxy S24, you might already have the update or see it very soon. For everyone else with a supported device, it should follow shortly. Samsung usually speeds up these rollouts once they begin, so you shouldn't have to wait too long. All in all, One UI 7 is shaping up to be a solid update. It doesn't just make your phone look better. It adds tools that actually improve how you use it day to day. From better design and widgets to useful AI and smarter shortcuts, there's a lot to look forward to. Let us know in the comments if you received the update and what you think of it. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more updates and tips. Time to make last minute adjustments before launch. Nothing is final until the official announcement. As with previous releases, the iPhone 17 series is expected to be unveiled in September. Until then, more leaks and rumors will likely surface, painting a clearer picture of what Apple has in store. Do you think this new design direction is an exciting step forward or does it feel like a risky move? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Apple's latest budget-friendly iPhone 16 e may look familiar on the outside, but a recent teardown has uncovered some surprising internal upgrades that make it stand out. While the phone retains the design language of older iPhones, Sharing similarities with the iPhone 14, its internal components reveal a different story. A closer look at the iPhone 16e's internal structure shows a layout that closely resembles the iPhone 15, but with a few key changes. One of the biggest differences is the camera system. Instead of the dual camera setup found on the iPhone 15, Apple has opted for a single 48 megapixel wide lens on the 16e. By removing the secondary lens, Apple has freed up additional space inside the device. This extra space has been put to good use as the tear down confirms the inclusion of a larger battery, a welcome improvement for those prioritizing battery life. Initially, leaks suggested the iPhone 16e would house a 3,961 mAh battery, but the tear down reveals that the actual capacity is slightly higher at 4,005 mAh. This difference may seem small, but any boost in battery life is always a major advantage, especially for users who rely on their phone throughout the day. Apple has also introduced an improved battery removal system that utilizes low voltage electric current, making battery replacements easier and reducing e waste. This system, which was first introduced in the iPhone 15, streamlines the process of swapping out an old battery without the use of excessive adhesives, a change that could be beneficial for long term device maintenance. Another important upgrade is Apple's shift toward in house modem technology. 
The iPhone 16 e-features Apple C1 chip, their first self-designed 5G modem. This chip combines a four nanometer baseband with a seven nanometer transceiver, which results in improved power efficiency. Early testing suggests that Apple's C1 chip consumes less power compared to the Qualcomm modems used in previous iPhone models. This efficiency gain could contribute to longer battery life and improved overall performance, particularly in areas with weaker single strength where modems tend to work harder. One area where Apple has chosen not to innovate is Face ID. The teardown confirms that the Face ID module in the iPhone 16e remains unchanged from the iPhone 14. This is not entirely surprising, given that the phone retains the notch instead of adopting the dynamic island found in Apple's higher-end models. This decision is likely a cost-cutting measure, allowing Apple to maintain an entry-level price while focusing on improving other aspects of the phone. Apple's approach with the iPhone 16e suggests a strategy of bringing newer hardware innovations into more affordable devices while keeping external design changes minimal. The larger battery, more efficient 5G modem, and simplified camera system may appeal to users who prioritize battery life and performance over additional camera lenses or cutting-edge design features. For those looking for an iPhone that offers solid battery life, a capable camera, and improved power efficiency, the iPhone 16e could be a strong contender. While they lack some of the premium features found in Apple's higher-end models, its practical upgrades make it a compelling choice for users who simply want a reliable and long-lasting device. Let me know what you think about the iPhone 16e's upgrades. Do these changes make it more appealing, or do you think Apple should have included more premium features? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest tech expected to deliver a consistently reliable connection. Additionally, a modem's AI capabilities are said to enhance battery efficiency, allowing users to enjoy these advanced features without worrying about draining your battery too quickly. While Qualcomm's technology is expected to play a major role in the Galaxy S26, Samsung has a history of using its own Exynos processors in certain regions. If the company chooses to go this route, the S26 could feature the Exynos 2600 chipset paired with the Exynos modem 5400. Interestingly, this modem is rumored to offer even faster speeds than Qualcomm's X85, with potential download speeds reaching up to 14.79 Gbps. However, it remains unclear whether Samsung will adopt this approach globally or stick with Qualcomm's solution. Regardless of the choice, users can expect a significant upgrade in network performance and overall device capabilities. The competition in the 5G space is intensifying, with Apple also making progress in developing its own 5G modems. The iPhone 16e is rumored to feature Apple's first in-house modem, the C1, which is expected to prioritize power efficiency. However, it reportedly lacks support for Moonwave 5G, a technology that enables the fastest 5G speeds. This could give Qualcomm's X85 modem an advantage, particularly for users who demand the highest possible performance from their devices. Qualcomm has also highlighted additional benefits of the X85, including improved location tracking for better navigation and AI-driven 5G optimizations that further enhance the user experience. Beyond its impressive 5G capabilities, the Galaxy S20 Sticks is expected to set a new benchmark for flagship smartphones. The combination of faster speeds, advanced AI optimizations, and improved battery efficiency makes it a compelling upgrade over the Galaxy S25. For users who frequently download large files, stream high-definition content, or engage in mobile gaming, these enhancements could make a noticeable difference in day-to-day -day usage. That is it for today. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the official release, and let us know your thoughts on these exciting advancements in the comments below.